So Selma, firstly, can you tell us how Yahoo generally use brand impact studies? Um, I think you know measurement's really important for us uh, at Yahoo, improving out kind of return on ad spend for our clients. Um, we're not the biggest player in the market, so we have to kind of pitch hard for every uh, ad dollar that's, that's out there, and that's kind of proving that Yahoo is the right place to be, that we have an audience with a high affinity, and that we can prove that we've shifted the, the metrics that matter to our advertisers. So can you tell us a little bit more about how Yahoo generally use brand impact studies? Uh, brand studies are kind of core to our measurement kind of solutions, uh, and we use them, A, to kind of attract new or lapsed advertisers uh, to kind of spend more with us. Uh, we generally use them as kind of added value uh, for our bigger kind of partnership campaigns that are running kind of across different, um, different formats so we can kind of provide a holistic kind of measurement solution. Uh, and then we're also using brand studies to, to test kind of emerging, um, emerging formats such as kind of digital at home, AR, VR, uh, audio. Um, and then we're, we're also kind of taking those results, feeding them back into our kind of aggregated learnings so that we can be kind of consultants on measurement. We've got kind of normative data and best practices that we can kind of close the loop and, and return to clients. Why is it that you use them and, and what benefits do they drive for Yahoo and Moreover, your clients? Yeah, sure. I think you know, the benefits are very clear. Our clients will receive kind of independent verification of how their campaign has performed. Um, we get to kind of understand how our properties and our DSP performed in that space. Uh, and everybody is getting kind of learnings and recommendations on how to kind of optimise uh, campaigns going forward. So can you tell me a little bit more about the level of insights you achieve through using brand impact studies? Um, I guess that varies uh, on the the type of study that we're kind of commissioning with you, but at a basic level, we're kind of hitting all of those metrics uh, that matter from brand awareness, uh, favorability to bottom of the funnel kind of consideration uh, and intent. And then um, for more kind of partnerships, we'll go down the creative diagnostic um, route. Uh, but what we try to do at Yahoo is to sort of cut the data um, at a different level. So we're kind of cutting the data by buying tactic, by um, target audience by format so that we can add this kind of extra layer of insight uh, and learning for clients. So what have you done with the results and how do these help formulate your overall marketing strategy? So I think at a basic level we're kind of obviously reporting um, insights back to our clients within the PCA. We're also making sure that those insights come back into our business so that our sellers and AMs are kind of best informed um, to advise clients. Um, and then when the results are good, we're, we're kind of creating case studies, uh, showcasing the results to the wider industry, uh, entering awards uh, with yourselves as we've kind of recently done. Um, but also we've started to sort of aggregate our results so that we, we're building this real kind of big rich database of campaigns and uh, best practices that we can pass back to clients and kind of act as consultants really in the kind of creative um, the creative process and, and the planning kind of application of campaigns. And so finally, do you see brand measurement becoming more or less important as we head into 2023? Yeah, I think there has been and there always will be a place for, for brand studies. I think, you know, ad dollars always need to be made accountable. Uh, that's not going away anytime soon. Uh, and as we move in, into kind of a cookie-less uh, future, uh, there are various kind of campaign measurement solutions out there which rely on cookies which will then become redundant. So actually brand measurement studies through consumer panels are just going to become uh, more important. I think the you know, process that we're going through is making sure all of our vendors have you know, a cookie-less uh, solution for us going forward. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then please visit our knowledge hub at ondeviceresearch.com.